हेलो व्यूअर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट इन थ्री डायमेंशनल ज्योमेट्री राइट सो हियर वी हैव टू फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ अ प्लेन कंटेनिंग द लाइन्स हुज इक्वेशंस आर गिवन लाइक दिस राइट सो हियर व्हाट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू फाइंड अ प्लेन से दिस इज द प्लेन Uh, which contains uh, these two lines right let us denote the plane by uh, the letter p right so here uh, we have uh, two equations uh, the first one is uh, uh, this equation and the second one is this equation right so this is line l1 this is line l2 and these two lines are given uh, as uh, Uh, coplanar because uh, as the question says uh, we have to find the equation of the plane containing the lines right so l1 and l2 are contained by this plane hence these two lines are said to be coplanar right okay so now uh, we have to find the equation of the plane and uh, here if we uh, analyze the equations of the lines Uh, then we see that uh, these two lines are uh, in the form of x minus x1 over a y minus y1 over b and z minus z1 over c right so these two uh, lines are in this form right so now if we uh, uh, first take the line l1 uh, we see that uh, this line uh, l1 it passes through the point uh, minus 3 1 and 5 right so this line l1 passes through this point and the direction ratios of this line l1 uh, are given by minus 3 1 and 5 right minus 3 1 and 5 are the direction ratios of this line uh, l1 right now let us come to the line l2 so here uh, this line l2 it passes uh, uh, through the point uh, minus 1 right minus 1 2 and 5 right and the direction ratios of this uh, line l2 are given by minus 1 2 and 5 right okay now from the direction ratios of these two lines l1 and l2 uh, we see that uh, the lines are not parallel because the direction uh, ratios are neither equal and nor uh, proportional right so uh, uh, the lines l1 and l2 are coplanar hence the shortest distance between the uh, two lines is zero right it means l1 and l2 are coplanar and intersecting lines right okay so now here uh, let us take the line uh, this line is l1 and uh, let us take uh, the another line as uh, say l2 right say this is l2 and uh, l1 it contains the point a uh, which is uh, uh, this point and uh, this is minus 3 1 and 5 and uh, this uh, line l2 it uh, contains the point uh, say b uh, this is b and uh, this point is minus 1 2 and 5 right so uh, these two line uh, l1 and l2 are coplanar uh, as they lie on the plane p and uh, moreover Uh, since uh, point a lies on l1 and point b lies on l2 hence we conclude that these two points also lie on the plane right and this uh, line l1 uh, has this direction right and this line l2 has this direction so let us uh, uh, denote uh, the a vector uh, which represents the direction of this line l1 by b1 right so we can write b1 as minus 3 i cap plus j cap plus uh, 5 k cap and uh, 
the direction of this line L2 can be denoted by the vector uh, B2 uh, and we can write it as minus I cap plus 2J cap plus 5K cap, right? So B1 vector gives the direction of L1, B2 gives the direction of uh, the line uh, L2, right? So now here uh, we can write the vectors as uh, uh, B1 and this is uh, B2, right? Okay, so now uh, uh, this is the uh, situation and we have to find the equation of this plane P uh, as this plane P contains uh, these two lines, right? And we know that uh, uh, the important a component of uh, a plane uh, P is its normal vector, right? So the normal vector, it looks like this and this is the normal vector, vector N, right? So now uh, we see that this vector uh, N is the normal vector to this plane P, hence this vector is uh, uh, perpendicular uh, to the plane containing vector b1 and b2 right or in other words we can say that uh, this vector uh, n is parallel to the vector uh, b1 cross b2 right what is b1 cross b2 b1 cross b2 represents a vector which is perpendicular to the plane containing b1 and b2 Right? So this vector n can be determined by taking the cross product of vector b1 and vector b2. Right? So now uh, let us find out uh, b1 cross b2. And we know that the uh, vector product of two vectors is given by the determinant i cap, j cap, k cap and the second row contains the components of uh, vector b1 that is minus 3 1 and 5 and the third row contains the uh, component of uh, minus uh, b2 vector minus 1 2 and 5 right now let us solve this uh, uh, determinant so we have i cap and we have 5 minus 10 then we have uh, minus j cap and we have minus 15 plus 5 and then we have k cap and we have minus uh, 6 plus 1 right so now we have minus 5 i cap and here we have plus 10 j cap and here we have minus 5 k cap right so we see that uh, uh, the cross product of vector b1 and vector b2 is given by this vector and uh, the cross product of uh, vector b1 and b2 is parallel to uh, the vector which is perpendicular to the plane containing vector b1 and vector b2 and that vector is nothing but the normal vector right so uh, this normal vector uh, can be uh, given by uh, this uh, vector right so we have minus 5 i cap plus 10 j cap minus 5 k cap right so we see that uh, the normal vector uh, to this plane p has the direction ratios minus 5 10 and minus 5 right okay so now we have obtained the normal vector to this plane p and uh, uh, we already know uh, the coordinates of the two points a and p which lies on the lines l1 and l2 respectively but at the same time since the lines l1 and l2 are coplanar hence these two points also lie on this plane p right and we know that the equation of a plane uh, passing through uh, some point say x1, y1, z1 
is given by uh, this equation that is a x minus x1 plus b y minus y1 plus c uh, z minus z1 is equal to 0. So this is the equation of the plane P uh, which passes through some point x1, y1, z1 and uh, a, b, c are the direction ratios of the normal vector and we have just calculated the direction ratios of the normal vector as minus 5, 10 and minus 5. So we have the values of a, b, c as minus 5, 10 and minus 5, right? Now x1, y1, z1 can be taken as either this point or this point. Uh, here we'll take this point, right? So uh, x1, y1, z1 can be taken as minus 3, 1 and 5, right? So now uh, we can substitute the values of x1, y1, z1 and a, b, c in this equation. So now we have uh, minus 5, then we have x minus x1, so here we have minus 3, so this is plus 3, then we have plus 10, we have y minus y1, then we have minus 5 and z minus 5, right? And now we see that here we have uh, 5, here we have 10, here we have 5. So we can divide this uh, equation by uh, minus 5. So uh, uh, we have uh, uh, this equation is reduced to uh, x plus 3. And uh, uh, we are dividing uh, this entire equation by minus 5, right? So here we, minus 5 get cancelled. Here we have minus uh, uh, 2 and uh, here we have plus 1 and z minus 5 is equal to 0. So now we can simplify it and we have uh, uh, this equation, right? This is z minus 5 equal to 0 and this is x minus 2y plus z and uh, here we have 3 plus 2, 5. 5 minus 5 is 0. So we have here 0, right? So the equation of the plane P which contains these two lines, right? And it uh, implies that uh, obviously these two lines are coplanar lines, right? So the equation of the plane P containing these two lines is given by x minus 2y plus z is equal to 0. And uh, moreover, here we can also see that since this point B, it uh, uh, lies on this line L2 as well as on the plane P. Therefore, it should satisfy this equation. We can verify it. So we have minus 1, 2, 5. And if we substitute this point here, we get minus 1, uh, minus 2 times 2 plus 5. And we see that minus 1 minus 4 plus 5, that is minus 5 plus 5 is equal to 0, right? So this point also satisfies this equation, right? And uh, moreover, here we see that uh, the constant term is 0, right? Here we have, uh, here we do not have any constant term in the equation of the plane P. And uh, this shows that uh, this plane it passes through origin, right? It passes through origin. And uh, this is how uh, we find the equation of a plane uh, which contains uh, two lines, right?